lovelies. So this is dinner idea tonight, stewed beef tips. Yes, I'm gonna show you how I put this together down to that very last piece. All right, so we're starting out with our cubed London broil. You can also use beef for stew if you like, but I like to use the London broil tonight. All this lovely seasoning that we have here, we are going to let it rain. Of course, in the description box will be what I am using. I do use all of my seasoning. Make sure that every piece of your cube meat is covered with the seasoning. You can use as much as you like as far as the seasoning is concerned, but I prefer to use all of it, every bit of it. And my food is never salty. I guess this all depends on the combination of seasonings that you are using that will make it salty or not. Now, we're going to take our tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and we're gonna pour it over the meat. This is where I think marination is key. I'm gonna take this and marinate this for 24 hours. The least amount of time that I would suggest is anywhere from two to four. But again, use your preference. Put some plastic wrap over it and I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. So after 24 hours, the meat comes out. As you can see, it is heavily and well seasoned and it's gonna taste so good. I got four cups of beef bouillon broth there. I have one uh, small red pepper, green pepper, and the onion. And of course, y'all know about my garlic. Come on, that's about 15 cloves. I have two cans of sliced carrots, as well as a can of diced tomatoes, Italian style. And also I have a can of small white beans that we're gonna add to this. Let's get it started. So I took out Big Mama. Yes, she does get the job done, you hear? She gets it done. I'm gonna put in the bottom of the pan, of course, some olive oil, that's about two tablespoons um, of olive oil, as well as two tablespoons of butter. So once our butter has melted down, we're gonna take our beef tips and we're gonna put them in the bottom of the hot pan. And we do want to sear the tips. We do not wanna cook them at this point. Again, we're just searing them. We are not gonna overcrowd the pan because we don't wanna steam them. So do not put a lot of them in there. Just put a little bit at a time. We can do these in batches, okay? All right, so once our meat is down, we're gonna now turn them over after a minute because now we want to sear the other side. All right, so this is about where we want them. We're gonna continue on with, you know, a couple of more batches. And then we're, when you're done, just take them out and put them aside into another plate. All right, so we're done with our batches. We're gonna add in a tablespoon or more of the olive oil to the pan. Then we wanna proceed into adding that sliced vegetables, onions, red pepper, and green pepper. We're gonna let that cook down for about, uh, about five minutes. Okay, take it, stir those vegetables. Okay, we wanna try to pull up as much as that flavor from the bottom of that pan, okay? And the vegetables is gonna catch all that. That's all flavor in the bottom of that pan, baby. All right, do not forget that. That's all flavor. We wanna use that to our advantage. All right, so. After five minutes, this is where we are. The vegetables have cooked down beautifully, okay? Here comes the fun part. Garlic, 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 garlic. Try to use fresh where you can. If you don't have fresh, that's fine. You can use the jarred um, garlic. That's about 12 cloves of garlic right there. Y'all know how I get down with my garlic. I love fresh garlic, and it's not overpowering at all. We're gonna give that a good stir and let that cook for about a minute or so. I'm going to pour in about four cups of the beef bouillon um, broth. I did use two cubes of the Maggie um, beef bouillon cubes. Y'all know those cubes are big and it does require for every cube, two cups of water. Put four cups of water into, you know, the measuring cup there, dropped in a couple of the Maggie bouillon cubes and let them dissolve. So it's time to add our meat back to this good old simmering party over here. Put your meat back into the pan, okay? And give it a good stir. We wanna take that can of diced tomato, Italian style tomato, may I add, and you wanna add that to the pot. 
at this time you're going to give that a good stir we are going to put a top on this and we're going to let this cook for about 30 minutes where it is now without adding anything else to it all right 30 minutes is up oh this is exactly where we want to be now let's get in our can of carrots. I'm only gonna use one can of the sliced carrots. I did drain them before I'm putting them in here. I know we started off with two cans, but it's more than enough carrots in that one can um, instead of using two, that's more than enough. Now to our beans, I also drained the beans, rinsed them under cold running water before I placed them into the pot here. Top on, see you back in about an hour and 15 minutes. So it's been an hour and 15 minutes and this is where we want to be. Yeah, it did cook down, you know, a lot. It is thick. So we are gonna straighten that right on up. We are gonna add about a cup more of the beef bouillon broth. Off camera, I did, you know, set some to the side cause I figured it would get, you know, a little thick. Okay, mix that up, voila. That solves that problem. Perfect. We're just going to give it a final sprinkle of some Goya Total Seasoning. And guess what? We are all finished with our stewed beef tips. Mmm. So there we have it. Our stewed beef tips. Hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget, thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.